Not all you see and read on the internet is true and correct. Before I share any information or health claim here on my channel, I check if it's supported by some scientific evidence. I encourage you to check out my reliable sources posted on the description box below. I'll let you know if a specific information or health claim is not backed by any scientific study. Arthritis is derived from the Greek term disease of the joints. It is characterized by tenderness and swelling of the joints. Redness and pain may also be experienced along with decreased movement resulting from the pain and swelling. There are many different types of arthritis, but the two most common types are rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. It is estimated that 40% of men and 47% of women will develop osteoarthritis in their lifetime, with the incidence increasing to 60% if they have a body mass index greater than 30. Treatment for arthritis depends on what type you have, and it is generally aimed at reducing symptoms and improving a patient's overall quality of life. One such treatment that we're going to look into is cabbage. How effective is cabbage compress against reducing arthritis symptoms? Well, according to an article published by the British Medical Journal, there is anecdotal evidence of a 72-year-old woman who had bilateral knee osteoarthritis and claimed that cabbage leaf wraps on her knee helped alleviate symptoms. However, it's not just anecdotal evidence. In a randomized controlled trial published by the National Library of Medicine in 2016, 81 patients suffering from stage 2 to 3 knee osteoarthritis were assigned to a month of treatment with topical pain gel, 10 mg diclofenac gel at least once a day, cabbage leaf wraps at least 2 hours daily, or the usual care. The treatments were generally well received. The results show that compared to those receiving the standard care, those receiving cabbage leaf wraps treatments had significantly lesser pain, improved quality of life, and better physical function. However, those receiving diclofenac gel treatments once a day still had the best results. These results could be attributed to cabbage's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, which a study by the Asian Pacific Journal of Cancer Prevention looked into in 2014. Among the cabbages they looked into, red cabbages had the highest antioxidant content, followed by savoy, Chinese, and green. On the other hand, Chinese, savoy, and green cabbages had the higher levels than red cabbages when it comes to anti-inflammatory properties. This shows that cabbages are great remedies for oxidative stress-related chronic illnesses. To top it off, animal studies have shown that the consumption of cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, kale, and cabbage can reduce pro-inflammatory markers in humans. Cruciferous vegetables are also high in a sulfur-rich compound called sulforaphane, which according to another article published by the National Library of Medicine, effectively blocks the inflammation that leads to cartilage degeneration and osteoarthritis. Another study also found that isothiocyanates are present in the synovial fluid of those who consume cruciferous vegetables. This also showed anti-inflammatory properties positively affecting knee joint tissues in individuals with osteoarthritis. The said studies are promising, but further research with larger human subjects is needed to fully test the effectiveness of cabbage leaf wraps and consumption of cruciferous vegetables for managing and reducing arthritis symptoms. On the other side of the coin, sometimes science lags behind, sometimes way behind. One example is turmeric. Researchers are only now really starting to understand the health benefits of curcumin, even though it's been used medicinally for thousands of years. Curcumin is the main active ingredient in turmeric. It has powerful anti-inflammatory effects and is a very strong antioxidant. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it on Facebook. Is science-based content and beauty and health also your cup of tea? Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and stay safe!